I'm in the metaverse, people. You are in the metaverse, dude. <laughs> Look at him. Yeehaw! Metallica. Awesome, dude. We know how much you guys love Metallica. Yeah, we love Very nice. How's it going, guys? Welcome, everyone, to IoT Coffee Talk. Yeah, we do it heavy. We go heavy every week, right? What the hell is that? Is this our first Metaverse edition? This, of- yeah. I guess so. Videos. This is... Uh, Can't even hear us. Metaverse doesn't work. <laughs> oh, can't you hear me? Can you, you no, should be how's it going, Jama? We can hear you fine. Like, you're looking Wonderful good. to have you. Are you on mute? Yeah. Happy for... Uh, I'm happy to be here. Oh, you know what? Hold on. You guys talk amongst yourselves. Hold on. But, but uh, we are boosting. It. That's great. This is really growing very fast now. So we are yeah. super. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's been, it's been really amazing what happened during the last, especially last yeah. nine months. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's 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 great, honestly. So well, after I'm I'm joking with my friends. I'm just saying I'm saying them. Well, it just took us ten years. <laughs> it took to make you ten it right. years. It took you 10 years to be an overnight success. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey, you know, you know exactly. that. There's a lot of companies like that, and there's actually a lot of rock bands like that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. They're playing local clubs and touring for like a decade before they finally have their first hit song. And Correct. Get- <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You know, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Guys, I don't know what Vinky is doing over there, but he is absolutely proving that the metaverse completely sucks. No, <laughs> dude, it. It it's no. so lame, man. I mean, no, no you know what's even lamer? But this, this is this is really lame. Like it looks like this. I don't okay? love so it. This? <laughs> wow, that's horrific. But actually, that's, it's yeah. like it is. It, it is exactly what you're saying. It's, it's it's extremely lame. I'm here alone. I could invite you guys here, which makes it even more no lame. No thanks. Like it's no it's thanks. a complete Zoom. Let's say it's not an upgrade. It's really not an upgrade. It's like a, a it's downgrade. Like a massive, yeah, it, 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 it is a massive downgrade. Dude, yeah. so dude, I'm, your I'm f- furniture sucks. Up. Yeah, your oh, your yeah, furniture yeah. sucks in the metaverse, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is. Don't this listen, looks way man. neater, right? Don't listen to oh, Leonard, yeah. man. After MWC, I'm all in the universe and drinking the Kool-Aid along with all those good. <laughs> I am I am on my way. I'm, I'm going to leave this. I'm going to go to the airport. I'm going to fly to Amsterdam, and I'm going to rescue this guy from this man of earth. Like, <laughs> why did I just walk into oh, Wow. I have no idea. I'm, I'm, I'm the black, right? So Thank you. Save me. Save me. Please, please. I remember yeah. when H- Game unplugged on the Matrix, you know. That's great. Yeah, that's yeah. So now, good to now, see you welcome today. to reality, Pinky. <laughs> you look Thanks. a hell of a lot better. Yeah, yeah a lot better. Back to life. Back to reality. Yeah. Wow. And you know what? I love how Jalma is just like eating his apple there. That's like just. It's good. That's raw. It's good. That's raw. You know? An apple a day. An apple a day. Made a verse away. yeah so hey guys what do we want to talk about we're we're all at iot stars except for david right that's true i know is is that my cue should i just go i'll leave no 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 of course not Mm -hmm. no it was it was great we had a actually actually, i was hoping you'd hold up your og verizon badge that you posted oh yeah you know that was wow Wow. I also found the original iPod, some dual band technology Motorola StarTac. No way. Uh, single band analog version too. Uh, I've got a lot of goodies down there. I and, love it. Um, 
And I think one of the first Alan Bradley PLCs before Rockwell, uh, I think. Before Rockwell. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, been around, no hair. <laughs> that, that's what your career has done to you. Yes, yes. It's <laughs> not, you work at a telco, you lose your hair. Um, guaranteed. Uh, I should you be more lose your uh, hair, <laughs> but it all turns white. <laughs> Well, you know, do you ever think about? You can't hide from it. Yeah. Do you ever see, like, you know, the stress of the job? I always, I always, the most notable one I always think of is, is President Obama when he went into office, and then when oh, he left yeah. office, he he was white. It's all stress. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. It's crazy. It's it's yeah. Well, it's it's the the, the price you pay if you wanna if you wanna be in these kind of places. Yeah, uh, in the front line, you know, it's it's super stressful and and yeah, and health <laughs> reminds you that we are not Superman. Right, like, but yeah. maybe we'll be Superman in the universe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know? I, so, I, I so, don't know. So, <laughs> Bing, tell me, tell me, tell me your whole metaverse setup that you have there. How did you do what you did this morning or this evening? Yeah, so, no, this this is literally I set us up in minutes. So it's I just uh, Oculus. Uh, you know, uh, this is Oculus Quest okay. uh, with a thing, and there's this app called called Immersed. Yeah. And um, yeah. the initial use case for Immersed is that you can see your screen in VR. Okay. Um, so it gives you focus. So it's actually pretty nice use case because it's like it's created to create your own, and then you can of course have um, uh, four screens. So that's a bit of a, a paradox or like a, a contradiction. Yeah. Uh, and then yeah. uh, what it does, it creates a virtual webcam on your Mac. And then it streams the point of view which you can control um, uh, in that space. So while, uh, while I explain it, it, it just becomes more obvious how ridiculously stupid this is. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it doesn't make sense. And, and the whole idea of, I tested it with a coworker to do, let's say, side-by-side -side wor uh, wor wor working or... Maybe um, they also presented this like a pair programming kind of tool. Yeah. Uh, and it just doesn't make sense. The, yeah. the, the, uh, it, it doesn't add anything else than a yeah. screen share. They're, 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 they're actually interaction and the, there's less nuance in VR than, than mm. there is with this. With, yeah. with just, oh, even, yeah. I think even it's, it's worse than any video. Metaverse. Yeah, I think it's. I think just a phone call is better than a metaverse. But maybe you know. I think, I think you invented <laughs> something. I think you all invented the, something. All that being said, how hard would it be for you to turn it back on so Bill could see it? Oh yeah, no, that's pretty. Uh, yeah, Bill, you gotta check this out. He was sitting on a couch outside. He got the fire going. You could see the backdrop. It's like the he worst. He was totally living it. He totally yeah. entered boom in the metaverse. And, uh, <laughs> it's like case. living in the Vida Loca. No, yeah. you know, I think you invented circular illogic. Yeah. Well, Bill, in case uh, in case you get shot, you know, might you might want to have like a strong drink or something you can smoke yeah. next to you. In oh, case that you no, no, you, you have to watch this. This is just <laughs> number one. He looks really he in reality he looks silly, All right. which is this already is pretty bad. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Even you know, right, right now, he looks like the character in the in Pants Labyrinth. You know, the one with no eyes. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I can see that. Wow, this yeah. is from so here. And I actually doing the webcam. He, you know what? He has no idea yeah. where he is. He's trapped yeah, between the metaverse we, and reality. Yeah, we still see the. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, okay. you know, this is just like every live demo, every single time. No, you know what? Yeah. This is the most honest demo demonstration of VR. This is the state of it VR. Is. Is this, no, mean, this is what it is right now. This should work in a matter of minutes, but I think Zoom doesn't like me adding and removing. Uh, Zoom has gotten offended. And, yeah. yeah, I think I got offended. I can loop it through. In the meantime, I'm going to blame Zigo or, or KPN uh, for yeah. the technical troubles. It's always them. It's always one of those two for me. It is. It is. Absolutely. Remarkable. Bill, I am coming to see you, man. Do it, man. Do it. I'm telling you, I can't wait. It's going to be, be so much fun. This is going to be so much fun. 
Rob, hey. whatever, you, whatever you do, don't come to California to get gas before you go to Texas. <laughs> oh. I mean, it's just, just don't do it. It's no, 629, man. I'm not going to do really? it. I thought it. So I'm going to take the other route. I'm going to go to Arizona first to Phoenix to see my daughter down at ASU. So I'm going to do today. I'll drive almost to Idaho, like right at the border, Ontario, Oregon, right there at the border, yeah. which oh, somehow... Wow. In mountain time, believe it or not, then I, it, I know it's it's something. I did not know that. It's bizarre. It doesn't. You think it would be at the border of Idaho or something, and it's not. I think it's because it's close to it, and they don't want them to feel left out. I don't know. Uh, and then tomorrow morning, I'll go from Ontario through Boise all the way through Salt Lake, and all the. I mean, it's gonna be a long day. I'm gonna drive all the way to Page, Arizona, right wow. in northern Arizona right there on Lake Powell, so that first thing, Friday morning, I'm going to go do the tour of Antelope Canyon, which I don't know if you guys have ever seen the cool, weird pictures of walking through Antelope Canyon. I think it's where you might get your arm caught in a rock and they made a movie or something. But anyway, um, that'll be cool. And then do the Grand Canyon after that. And so uh, <laughs> looking to it. Nice. Yes. Yes. And then spend the weekend in Scottsdale, uh, which will be nice. Have yep. Fun. Before it gets crazy hot. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So staying in a cool hotel in Scottsdale, chilling by the pool for the weekend. And then we're going to do the big push to Texas. Yes. Uh, cool. Yes. I think we have from, to we have to hit we have to hit Stephanie up, man, to see if we can get her yeah? around here at some oh, point. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. No, you're right. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I should be in Dallas probably by Monday, um, Monday afternoon or something like that. So I'll, I'll spend several days in Dallas and then I'll maybe come to Austin that following Friday through the weekend or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to go hit up a couple beer gardens, a couple distilleries and go get some good food and whatnot. We got to get you some good queso. Down, dude. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. You know, if you guys are if you guys are going to breweries and you're not going to just wire the whole thing to you know to Web three or uh, or you know the man, yeah. just, I don't I, I don't want to hear it. So if you're, you're not, not sure, interested. It, no. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that I have enough tokens for Web three. Oh, look oh. out! Here he comes! Here he comes! <laughs> look look, hey, look at how ridiculous this is going to be. Be great if if it works. If it works. Oh gosh, we got audio. Like, we got the black, black screen of death. It's gonna be good. Yeah. Be good. Yeah. Red, red. Oh no. Still a black. Did did we did Winky have hair in the metaverse? I didn't notice. Mm. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, he it's, did. It's half, I'm, I'm halfway. Halfway there. You're halfway. <laughs> oh wait. Oh, oh, there oh, you. Oh. Right. What, is, what are you doing? Are you lying down? You're passed it's a, out, it's man. A, it's a decapitated head. Uh, you understand how work? disgusting that is, oh, right? Your, oh my your God. head is chopped uh, off. Dude, you're dead. Oh, yeah, oh, you're dead, is... man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's like seriously I I gruesome. Think, I think the whole thing crashed, actually. Oh. Uh, no I thought it was going to happen to the metaverse. Uh, <laughs> wait, guys. That's unbelievable. Wait. wait. I just... <laughs> I just took a screenshot and I'm going to make this my background. Oh, oh my God. God. Hey, this is the first in the metaverse. This is the crime scene right yeah. there. <laughs> and, yeah. uh, and, and the metaverse is taking a nap. Dude, what's the yeah. white stuff next to the face? It's like, like metaverse brains oozing. Yeah. Oh, what is going uh, on? This is, this is not good. You have no body. No. no. It's just like wrong, man. I think his body jumped off the railing onto the forest. Yeah. A thousand feet yeah. down. It should say not, immersed. No, it should say decapitated. <laughs> you know, I know the whole background <sighs> high tech or maybe like Roblox or Minecraft, but it also kind of reminds me of Wolfenstein 3D. Doom. <laughs> Doom. Like from the 90s for DOS. Yeah. It kind yeah. Of, yeah. Like, in fact, I think that we that's where the metaverse is, right? <sighs> yeah. 90s. Exactly. <laughs> and then I, yes. what I really don't understand is why people at this, you know, at this stage are getting excited about this stuff. I mean, 
it hasn't it hasn't reached that tipping point yet you know and it, it's early adopters just, mr naysayer mr <laughs> i'm gonna wait until every no, no, there's a different, there's a difference between adopting early and then thinking that this thing is going to go ballistic. Like a lot of people are saying it is, it'll eventually get there. I mean, it just like video I, conferencing, I, like this stuff that we're doing right now was super expensive just 20 years ago, right. Or 10 years ago. Well, now it's dirt ass cheap. I got to drop hmm? some knowledge in here. Remember what Michael Fassbender said in Prometheus big things have small beginnings. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Think about it. Rob, but you know, if the beginning is how uh, Winky uh, just uh, shared <laughs> experience that, no, no, look, the bit that when you're doing, you're doing side by, trying to do side by side work and it doesn't improve the experience over what we're doing right now. It, it, I mean, it's just, it just sounded pointless. Uh, it's a <laughs> Like why 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 bother why why do it you know if oh, yeah. if I no, and you know what's uh, what's what does improve the experience I don't know if you've seen the new feature in Slack it's called the huddle and you can yeah. just hit huddle and it, yeah you like it right like I we lo- it's so good and it's just the huddle and the share screen is uh, uh, it, it they, yeah. they're just super simple features but two things they do right huddle it directly gets everybody back. Uh, a chat, a talking channel, and a second to share screen is a different window. So it it it's not they just did two very small UX things yeah. and massive yeah. improvements. Yeah. But yeah. it was it was driven because they had the foundation of everything else already working. Interoperability was already there, and they yeah. just decoupled yeah, yeah. some functionality. Yeah. So that's what I liked about it is that they didn't break anything; they truly improved it. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's, it's really killer feature. Yeah. Hey, so Jalma, are you guys uh, doing you talk any on, of this? I'll try to make it work. Oh, jeez. Oh, are you guys doing any of this kind of crap? Jalma? Uh, can, can you hear him or is he I can't muted? Hear can't hear you, man. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Can you hear me now? Yes. yes. Uh, yes. Thank you. Sorry. Um... Not, Actually, not. no, no. We, we we don't do any of these things because uh, we are busy enough in the. We, we are mainly focusing on industry for the zero, and <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, it's it's. Oh, uh, everybody, take a drink. He just said industry for four point zero. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean that's that. It's it's <laughs> good stuff. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're making I'm real I'm things I'm happen. New. Give me time. Give me time. Give me time. <laughs> no, it's it's uh, it's it's. We are basically doing. Uh, data lakes in the in factories nowadays. This yeah. is probably the biggest part of our business. The yeah. industrial data lakes, and yeah. um, and uh, and obviously we keep doing IoT. Uh, yeah. when, when when I mean IoT, I mean digital services for product manufacturers. Yeah. So we just yeah. recently signed a huge contract that we are yeah. very proud of. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, with, does it work now? Ah, yeah. Yeah, it you. works. It works. We're clapping for you, man. Smile. Yeah, look at that beautiful smile. It's awesome. So you're you're how how far away do you think you are from doing the silly crap that Vinky's doing right now? I mean, you know, because you know, IoT World, uh, what is it that Solutions World Congress uh yeah. like four years ago, AR was like the big thing. You see PCT or PTC uh, demoing AR and all this stuff, and there was a lot of hype around AR and IoT, and then yeah. You know, now we have this sort of revival. Uh, you, you know, what do you think, man? I mean, given that you like do dirty, 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 hardcore IoT stuff, how far are we from doing this silly crap? <laughs> I mean, it's for us, it's um, how to say it's going to be a commodity. This part really? of the story. Yeah. You think so? Wow. Hmm, that's All an right. interesting statement. In All what right. way? How, why do you say? Oh my! God. Uh, because I think that because now Meta is becoming so hype, yeah. there will be thousands of startups trying to do something in the metaverse environment. Now, now it's working. Look at that! It's working. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got a bib. He's got a bib. I mean, where's the baby food, man? 
<laughs> yeah, where's the baby poop? and where's your body like are you attached to the couch this is freaking me out oh, you know what yeah. yeah this is not okay this is not okay i think no was, no uh, let me no, check it no, back no, this is awesome i can no, when leonard no. posts this video i'm sure the the, the, the screen he's going to post is going to have you it's going to be you right there <laughs> that, that, yes that's what this episode is all about oh it's, no way that's but funny. i'm uh, at, a, at a great lake House. Yes. Oh yeah. It's a bit lonely. Yeah. yeah it it is. Immersed, but but I'm I'm kind of feeling like like half his body's in the water. It's it's yeah. not immersed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now I have hands. I have hands. That's great. But now what what are you gonna do with hands in the metaverse? I don't know. I don't know. Could you have a digital twin partner person to hang out with you there? Make it high five and yeah, and after, I know. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh my God. Uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah. This is not. Uh, I, I can I can show another 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 room and then then uh, yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah. Your hands are glowing. What's that about? It's so, so knowledge. Is the knowledge exiting his body? Yeah. Or it's his soul exiting. Now there's two lights. There's two lights. It's yeah. like, uh, you know, Laura One and Sig Fox. He's trying to uh, yeah. match them up. <laughs> <laughs> for, for funding purposes. By the way, does anyone know anything about the, the, the sellout of Sig Fox? How did, how did it end up? I don't know because I think that the the the, the quotations they were they had to be uh, proposed by the mid of February, if I remember properly. There was yeah. a date for the receivership. <laughs> How yeah. long is it in France? Isn't it like six months in France? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Before, oh, before uh, yeah, oh. before filing for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. This is just so ridiculous. I mean, this is a hat on the beach. <laughs> this oh, is even yeah. more awkward. Can you move around? Awesome. Sorry? Yeah, can you move around? Can no, I oh. can't. No. You know, yeah. uh, Vinky, I, I would say for a second, I thought that you were, I don't know, in a, in a, a, a Dutch beach, but you don't have oh. nine kilometers of sand before the no. water. So that is not in the <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you in Aruba? Yeah. No, yeah, I don't know. I just selected some kind of random feature here. Uh, I can like also these. be in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in space. Oh, okay. it looks great. Yeah. So, I, so, I want to know. All right, look back to back to your IoT journey, drama. Um, you and I talked. What is about? It's probably been two or more years since the last time we talked when I was at Ericsson. What would you say has happened since then? Was there a big moment when all of a sudden everything shifted for you in the market? Do you think? No, but basically, I, I was explaining that to Leonard when we met him yeah. in, in the IoT stars. We basically have been nine years focusing on trying to be a software manufacturer. So focusing on, at the end, let's say, selling licenses. Okay, that was our ultimate target. So our aim was to be like a kind of SAP, you know. It's, uh, we make the, the, the product, somebody else implement it or uh, install it in, in, the, in customers' um, um, premises and all that stuff. But honestly, after nine years, we just gave up, to be honest. And okay. uh, because... It, at least in our experience, I don't know yours, guys, but at least, hi, Mark. This at is a world our... record. We have seven people on. This is ridiculous. Yeehaw. It's awesome. Hey, Mark. <laughs> hey. hey. How are you, mate? Hey. <laughs> yeah, I'm here in the Windy Barcelona. Yeah. <laughs> well, isn't that he in Barcelona, too? Yeah. 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 You guys should be together. Bye. Yeah, but I mean, remember, that, the clothes, remember that Mark, so... Mark has property in the hills, so it's a oh, different yeah. temperature over there. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, so, keep going with your story. Uh, yeah, you keep going, saying, John. Yeah, yeah just, just trying to finish the story. Trying to make it short. Um, I was, uh, short. We, we were, we were, we were, as I said, f focusing on product and trying to 
uh, 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 bring in more uh, system integrators and more software developing companies. But at least in our experience, I'm just talking about our experience. I'm not saying yeah. that's the right thing, but it's our experience. We ended up learning that there's no good integrators for IoT because everybody's suffering. <laughs> yeah, oh, everybody's man. suffering because of the same reason. If they come from IT world, they know how to do magic if the data is in the database. But they don't. If, if you put them in front of the physical things, they don't know how to start. They don't know what to do with that. It simply is their brain just explode. If you, <laughs> yeah. then if you go with the OT guys, the experts in sensoring and extracting yeah. data from physical world, they don't know anything about cloud, cybersecurity, analytics, and all that stuff. So then we ended up realizing that there is no companies who can really take care of an IoT project end to end. Yeah. So then we changed our mind and yeah. we said, okay, we are going to be that company. So then we started yeah. to offer consulting services, engineering services, project development services. So we take care of a customer end to end. And it yeah. was starting that proposal to customers and the business yeah. just boost. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Because all of a sudden the customer said, thanks God, motherfucker. Yeah. Because we yeah. were waiting for you guys. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hey, we have a G-rated we show else. here. Not, not Come on, anymore. We want, we want you know, children to watch this, man. What the hell's your problem, Jama? <laughs> you know, at least like the, uh, say it in Spanish and maybe we can get a win. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, or Dutch. Dutch. Yes. Yeah, yeah, no, yes, no, or no. Dutch. Yeah. So, so did it happen? Did you, did you first kind of change your marketing, your outward positioning? No, 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 no. no. Before doing anything, we went to talk with our 10 top customers. Okay. And it was amazing because we had customers, mm, I don't know, 50, 70, 80K a year. And same customer, now it's a half million, 700K a year. Wow. Same customer. Wow. Just wow. now they can, can contract on us, help for the rollout in different factories with our people. They can contract us the development of some uh, solutions they require for the for for, for, for some of the yeah. applications. They can contract us the uh, the management of their infrastructure, the cloud infrastructure. Yeah. They can contract. So all of a the sudden they said, "Guys, yeah. finally!" Because we were waiting for you. So we went yeah. to talk to all these ten customers, and then we realized that we were just wasting our time for yeah. nine years. Yeah. Not really wasting your time, though, right? I mean, you you learned what. Yes. The, what what unlocked that opportunity? Yeah, finally, I mean that was. Yeah, a, but I've been I've but, been of I I think you are dead right in that everyone out here is creating. Rob, to your point, everyone out here is creating platforms. Everyone is all right, and and everyone says, "Oh, our data fabric, or our this, yeah. or all that," and no one is taking care of the customer end. To end. Correct. Yeah. But, so you know, I'm going to walk in through the entire process you know, and make sure us, you're successful. For, for us, for the, the, the reason to reach that point was I have to accept so sillyly. Sillyly? Does it have meaning in English? It doesn't sillyly? matter. Yeah. Keep going. Okay. <laughs> so, so it was so stupid or so simple. Yeah. Because what, what, what we did is we went, the three guys, three top guys of the company, we went together to a hotel three days in the mountain, you know? Just brainstorming and and we did one important thing. We reviewed every single customer that we were in contact with, and that we at least made a quotation during the last nine years. Uh -huh. And we ended up realizing that we were only able to sell to those people who actually had a very clear picture of what they wanted to do. Can you make us a predictive, uh, sorry, um, monitoring and maintenance solution of this. Yes, our product can do that and you can work with this integrator, fine. But 95, I would say easily, 90 to 95 of the customers, and that, that, that was our ultimate uh, hit point. N nearly 90, 90 to, it doesn't matter. Just 90% say 100%, jeez. Whatever. 90% <laughs> of the customers, actually, they didn't know what to do. They wanted to go into IoT. They wanted to develop uh, digital service, but they didn't know how to start. And we always asked, told them, hey, guys, we are not a consulting company. Go look for a consulting company who can help you to create this portfolio of services. And whenever you know what you want to do, come back and we will be happy to introduce you to a system yeah. integrator or to even do it ourselves. Yeah. And what happened? Yeah. 
those customers who left never came back. Yeah. Wow. You know, it's such a it's such a great nugget that you shared. And yeah. you know, for all you for all of our, I think we're up to three billion global listeners now. <laughs> but the message to take away is how many of you that are in in the sales motion take time to go look through the deals you lost and figure yeah. out why, why did we lose it? And can we do something about it? Because when you reach out, that's no longer a cold call. There was a relationship. If you got as far as a right. quote, you should yep. know enough that they'll pick up the phone. Um, yeah. Wow. Uh, and, I mean, it, that was, and that changed our history, as simple, as simple and as complex as that. As I said to my friends, it just took us nine years to realize about that. Yeah. <laughs> oh I, want, I wanted to get Mark going because I, when you said uh, IoT end-to-end, I thought there's a company, a telco in Spain, it, it sounds like Monica or something like that. And I thought they do end-to-end IoT, no, Mark? <laughs> oh, oh. I'm just kidding. Don't say it. Oh, look that at that. Was, that was deep. He, he's going to crush you, dude. Don't ever go to Barcelona. He's going he's gonna to get a bunch of little kids to chase after you and well, beat you up with he's sticks, gonna man. Say something that runs like Christmas the time. Something that I'm gonna, I'm going to put a pressing catch, you know, a ring on the IoT stars <laughs> for you and me, you know. Like Elon Musk can put in, you know? Yeah. I'm just glad that you didn't starve to death over the nine years before you figured it out what to do. That's good. Well, that's one of my problems in my character. I'm extremely stubborn. So, hey, you know, my, 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 one of my main shareholders, uh, my partner, actually, um, um, he always say the only way that when you fall down, that you, to avoid that you step up again, is to shoot you in your head. Oh. I mean, to shoot a bullet wow. in your head. Otherwise, you will stand up again. All right. And I never like, give up. Kind of like Vinky's <laughs> head, virtual head in the metaverse. <laughs> hey, you know, this is, this is powerful stuff, I think, for our audience. This, is, this you know, um, so when you, you had that meeting in the mountains, you came back down from the mountain, and you picked Always up the, the phone and you called the customer. What did you What did you say to your customer when you called them up? What was the new thing? How did you start that I call? I said, okay, okay, we guys, we are considering to change the nature of our company. So from now on, we are considering to be a service company with our own product. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So not that, I mean, we will not make uh, consulting services if it's not to install Mimetic, our product. Yeah. It's not okay. to sell you our product. Okay. So don't ask us to do the consultancy or the auditing or what, or the project engineering if you later on want to go with any other technology. Okay. We do it to sell our technology. Yeah. So then it's if we offer you consultancy with this partner, because obviously all of a sudden you don't become consultant. Yeah. So then we partner with a German company that are experts in are actually. That, that, but okay, I, I will explain it later. But we partnered with somebody else who was really an expert, a reputed expert in the uh, consultancy and uh, thing for, for Industry 4.0 and IoT. So we partnered with them. So we said, okay, if we offer you that kind of services, if we offer you to, uh, to, to, to take care of your infrastructure, if we offer you to develop the projects, if we offer you to uh, put our own people in your project and lead some of your teams for the rollout in several factories or in the in the rollout, blah, blah, blah. And all of them said, wow, Jauma, why it took us so long to come and yeah, propose it? Yeah. Because we, well, honestly, one of our stoppers in growing even further and faster is that we are not finding the right partners to make it happen. Yeah. Yeah. So then, guys, yeah. it's, it's, it's the same. I mean, when we implant yeah. your technology in our company, it's like implanting SAP. It's, it's going to be huge <laughs> and deep. But you know, the problem is that when you implant SAP, you have an, an army of people ready to come and offer you yeah, something. Right. If we implant it, if you don't come, nobody else will. Wow. Yeah. So it's now it's your duty, guys. It's it's your responsibility. It's like, okay, we're happy to, to take it as long as you, as you pay for it. And, and did you? And they uh, said, yeah, yeah, we're happy to pay. And did you uh, offend any partners that did, did this also? Because I think all, all good decisions are also yeah. like a, no, somehow a double that sword. Did, did you offend any partners or did you get create any channel conflicts while doing this? No, yes, 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 yes. But then I have a very simple answer for this kind of people. 
is say, okay, if we have to leave out of the business you brought to us, we would we would have already disappeared. <laughs> Yeah. So don't blame on us that we yes. are doing the business because you don't do it. But but so you know I, what the thing? Yeah, I mean, but if you think about it, what you're doing actually brings vitality sorry, to Leonard, the ecosystem. Leonard, sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry to, to interrupt you, but no let problem. me give you an example which goes in the opposite way of what actually you mentioned, Wink. Um, it's unbelievable. We won two huge projects recently. Okay, uh, do you know a company called Griffles? Yeah, yeah. Griffles? In okay, Denmark? the blood, blood derivates oh, and analytics. Oh, I thought you said Grimfoss. Never mind. I don't know, Griffles. It's, I thought it's it was worldwide. Pumps. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, it's, it's the worldwide leader in blood analytics. It's a pharma. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, it's a, it's, it's a, yeah, it's a, they have half of, half of the world market share. Just keep in mind, half of the blood donations, donations or extractions or whatever the name in English yeah. is, uh, half of it, it's analyzed with their equipment. Wow. Worldwide. So we want the project against Accenture uh, to become yes. their IoT supplier for all their equipment worldwide. Wow. Because yeah. I think there's a lot of companies so, like Accenture. And, then, yes, and then, and then, sorry, Winky, uh, sorry, eh? but okay. let me finish the story because that's what I wanted to mention related to what you asked before. This is just among us, okay? One month wait a minute, later. wait a minute, wait a minute. One this is going to be broadcast. This, yeah, this okay. Is, okay. We're broadcast this. okay, okay. <laughs> now, one Tell month us. later, there was three competitors. There, three. Accenture and another one. And another one. Okay? Another large organization, another large corporation. We, we won. One month later, this other one called us to partner with us for other customers. Wow. For offering the same to other customers through them. And we said, okay, we are happy. And that's something I learned when I was in Panasonic, in B2B in Panasonic, but now it's again happening because this is a, this is a standard worldwide um, and through the history of business. Nobody takes care about you till the day you steal them the business. But Jauma, I prefer your story when you lost the uh, project and then the one who won called you to do it. <laughs> yes. Explain that story. <laughs> yes, that's that, 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 yeah, that, that's a that's... real story. That's a real story. We we went to a project with a small system integrator and we lost it. Finally, the, the company said, "Okay, we go with a large corporation because you know we, we are we prefer to go with these guys that you know they are big company. They are in the in the quadrant of Garners and all that yeah. stuff. Blah 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 blah. Okay, fine. Yeah. And one month and a half later." Yeah. This large corporation called yeah. us and said, "Hey, you were the ones who were. No. Yeah, could you help us yeah. to make this project?" We said, "Yeah, wow. of course." I love yeah. it. <laughs> no, it, it, it's it's freaking amazing, so, man. So, hey, nobody takes care of you till the day you steal them the business. What's funny yeah. is that, 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 that customer no. paid sixty percent more. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You you yeah. didn't steal hey. the business, dude. You didn't steal the business. You earned no, no. it. You, you, yes, you yes, yes. Yes, Don't yes, ever yes. say that, yes. man. You didn't yeah. steal it. They <laughs> right. didn't deserve it. They didn't you deserve know, it. The, you deserved it. Another real case. That's another yeah. real case. We went with one of these large corporations to a project. Yeah. We quoted to them. They just copy pasted, put the price twice, and presented to the customer. And the customer just bought it. Wow. Wow. But you know, honestly, I'm super happy that they earn so much money because then they will call us again. <laughs> yes, yes, that's true. <laughs> you know, I'm, so, going to, I'm going to try. I'm happy this. that my partners gonna, are super going rich. To, I'm going to propose that we uh, double our proposals starting April first. See how that works <laughs> for us. I'm just gonna get no, that. but but you know what? It's like what we've talked the, about. You need on the, the show. reputation behind, and that's what we still need to yeah. learn and. And may grow, you know. So what is your because, we'll do it. What is, so what is we'll your business it. model? Is it a is it billable hours plus the cost of the software, or how does that work? Well, uh, uh, software licenses is, uh, it's year is yearly based, so it's pay yeah. per use. Okay? okay, and then uh, right. as any other, let's say, integration company, we have human per hours, human being per hour. So if you want that kind of technician or engineer or people, such a uh, per hour. And if you want consultancy, such um, fee per day. And if you want engineering, such fee per day. 
Okay. But do you guys do you guys do hardware too? No, right? No. You partner no. with hardware. Guys, we partner with hardware right. manufacturers. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's just it... what what we actually do yeah. is we develop hardware. You design for it. Customer specific. Do, yes, yeah, yes. You design, we design it, it and then you but then with a partner to we build it. We have a partner who actually right. build it and yeah. yeah. I mean, you guys are industrialize a, it. You guys are a solutions company. You provide the services. Yes. You do the hardware design. Yes. Like you yes. said, end to end, but it's not, I mean, I think people say end to end, but they don't really think about what end to end means. And what you guys do, the reason why you're successful is because you're being able to package all the technology and present it as a business solution, but also Correct. from a business model perspective, be able to channel all that technology from a software services, as well as a Harper perspective, and then yeah. deploy it. Where yes. everyone else, like you were saying, I love it that you were saying this. They're sitting on the friggin' sidelines just trying to sell shovels and picks. <laughs> yes. Totally lazy ass, waiting yes. for someone, developers, to pick these things up and go and somehow create yes. IoT value. You guys are getting dirty and actually mining, helping clients mine for that gold, you know, the IoT gold. And that, that, is so critical, you know. I, I, that's we why made, I love the made, story when you were telling me. Yeah, in, uh, I mean, I, I, Barcelona. I truly, I honestly, I truly believe that we made a huge mistake. I mean, one of the things I truly learned, and that was a the, the, for me, has been the deepest lesson I've got here. For I would say eight years, we were more thinking on investors than on customers. No, yeah. yeah. Why? Because all the investors just they only wanted to talk with you about uh, scal uh, scalability, and then if you offer services, it's not scalable. It's, it's, it's scalable. So if you if, if you have to be super scale scalable, it has to be based only software, uh, software as a service, or blah blah blah. And then a lot of licenses. Blah, blah, yeah, but and, and we said yes. But then who's gonna take care of the the, the, the whole project? No, don't. Yeah. Then it's your role to create the, the, the channel and all that stuff. And then, honestly, we, we were trying to build that momentum to, to try to convince more investors till the day, honestly. And that, that's another big decision in our company in, in 2020, yeah. Yeah. which was fund investors. Fund yeah, but they help you to survive nine years, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten years next month, my friend. Yeah. Okay, so... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's also not that's, really, that's... really like it's also not true because if you look at the amount of consoles you Trilio does, or uh, for instance, uh, um, these kind of let's say low code, no code platforms, they will do a ton, ton of integration revenue. And for them, it's interesting because then if they're on the traded on the on the, the after stock traded, they they can just move that revenue on the let's say recurring revenue. But I, it, it, you see a lot of this, even like unicorn companies that do a ton of uh, consultancy. Yeah, so it's yeah. interesting. Yeah, uh, I mean, I think they end up having to have to do that because, I mean, just because they're a unicorn doesn't mean they're a viable business, right? I think we need to be very square on that. Somebody came up with that valuation. Uh, it's made up and, and people believe it. And the hope is that somehow they're going to float a value. You know, they're going to be able to repeat the Amazon model where you yeah. can basically get into a mode of, uh, you know, compensating your shareholders through stock, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, value appreciation. Right. It, it, but yeah, there, you know, you're going to have to, it's like the edge or yeah. most environments you're deploying IOT in, it's not scalable. Right. We've talked about it on IoT Coffee Talk. And also the focus on developers is probably misguided. You need you, you and like you, know, you have to think bigger than that because the developers, they're subordinate to the people who actually design, deliver the business value. Right. There's a couple levels right. above that. And so, you know, a lot of it's even more important for these open initiatives because open initiatives kind of assume scale out, you know, open provides some degree of scalability. It's the assumption, right? Because you yeah. can engage a lot of developers. But like what I think I said this a, a, a few episodes back, it, it, you know, what's the use of having a bunch of developers who have no money? 
it's just then it's a bunch of techno fanboys just getting together in like you know uh what do you call it? aa uh, you know developer aa meetings wondering where all the money is right but yeah. then what you're you're saying jama is dead on right iot doesn't scale so you need services you need to you have guys like him rare people stitch all the shit together and then go to market and solve problems, not have these techno religious discussions and AA meetings that go nowhere. Right. Uh, and and, and, and that, that's what I love about your story, dude. Seriously. It, it, it's you. just like, but uh, you damn. know, we, we also, we also had that kind of <laughs> things in the past, but we, we quite yeah. quickly learned that we should change it. But as I yeah. said, for us, the, 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 uh, I mean, becoming a, 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 a complete solution. Because honestly, and, and, and this, again, eh, that's our experience. 90% yeah. of the customers who knock in the door, actually, they don't know what they need to do. They know that's that they crazy. have to do it. They know that, that they have to develop the, 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 the digital services portfolio in IoT, for instance, but yeah. typical uh, hardware manufacturer. A machinery manufacturer or equipment manufacturer. They know they have to, but they always ask us the same. Okay, what kind of services can I offer that can actually be monetized? And at what price? And, and then in the past, our answer is, hey, we are not a consulting company. Look for a consulting company. But then, as I said, none of the consulting companies know how to do it right. And then we now are doing also that part and we can explain based on our experience, we know how much will it cost you, what has sense, what doesn't work, even whoever in yeah. a wonderful PowerPoint presentation tell you it's going to work and you're going to be, be rich offering that service, it will never happen because we have yeah. seen it a thousand times and yeah. it didn't work. So that also gives us a lot of credibility in front of the customers when we talk about digital portfolio because we sure. can explain them what it works and what doesn't work. And what's your yeah. current ratio? So services to, if you if you want to share, is just curious. What's your current Sorry, ratio? Again, I, I couldn't hear you. What's your ratio from licenses to services? Uh, so how are now, they divided? Yeah, now it's uh, uh, services is gonna be this year because this is the first year we actually offer, let's say, these all these services. But our our forecast based on the contract we already signed, um, it's gonna be probably. 30 nearly 40 percent licenses 60 percent services wow. oh wow okay. wow That's cool wow yeah, yeah. And, wow. and do you believe that by doing this um so we we see a similar dynamics actually at our company now um, but uh, do you believe that because you did the services you also have some more licenses and because then the investor is happy anyhow right yeah yeah one several things is we do all these things i mean let me explain the story upside down. Because we want to sell licenses, we need to develop the, at the end we realize that we have to do the projects by ourselves. If we want to do the projects by ourselves, we need to let the customer know what they have to do. And to let the customer know what they have to do, we have to offer them consultancy. Yeah. But the ultimate goal is to sell licenses. It's not yeah. that we are a consulting company that then help them to create the project and then they can choose the technology, etc. No, 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 no. I will make the consultancy and uh, the engineering and everything considering it's based on our product. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think if, if I, I, it's uh, going forward as of next week, if every IoT seller, once you sell your solution, if you ask the customer, hey, by the way, who's putting this shit together? If you ask that question, I think we'll, go, we'll cut the failure rate from 75 to like 15%. <laughs> Just by saying, who's yes, going to yes, put yes. this together? Oh, and you don't, you, let me help you. Yeah. Let's still help yes. you. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 It's, yes. But you know, yes. you know what's awesome about what you're doing is number one, it's organic, right? Hmm. And then yes, as 100%. you grow, you're going to have to scale, but you're going to scale organically. And then all of a sudden you have gravity. And yes. even though you're selling your, only your stuff, who cares? It, it, it's because yeah. you guys, you guys are competing and you're surviving and that's all that counts, but it's organic. You're not going off trying to do the scale out platform BS, right? right. Because that doesn't work. And you guys <laughs> discovered that and you guys went back to square one, build a friggin' viable business. Yes. And that, that's, <laughs> that's 
huge. Yes. They're like screw yes. all this like Silicon Valley VCBS. Yes. Stop yes. Yes. talking to people who are going to put you on the dangle on, on you know how much they funded you and you know the yeah. return on stuff. Focus on building yeah. that organic business and solving you know, problems. What, That's like friggin' huge, dude. Love one, it. But one one of the things that uh, it uh, made all this thing happen and made the, all these things possible. Actually, it's because we don't have any venture capital in our shareholders. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm not joking. Honestly. I mean, all the, all the shareholders we have are basically two of them. Uh, they are basically long-term investors. So they don't want to sell the company in three years or in five years. They want to make us big. Yeah. So they, that, that, that gave us a lot of patience. If we were backed up by venture capital, we would have already disappeared years ago. Yeah. Yeah, uh, man. I have a, I have a question about the about the strategy behind the, the mountain retreat. So you know, you guys all leave to I don't know La Montaña de Montserrat somewhere sí. near Barcelona. Cerca, cerca de allí. <laughs> okay, okay. But my question has to do with what do you guys chose to drink? Was it Rioja and Cava? <laughs> well, we have Winky here. Do you get some Jennifer from from the Netherlands? <laughs> yeah. Or you know, what were you guys drinking as you just solved the situation? What inspired uh, you? That, that uh, cava, cava is the, cava? Drink, is the, is the okay. right drink. The Spanish champagne, the Catalan champagne. Yes, yes, yes. Nice. It's, what I, I, See? It's, it's, it's my favorite drink. No, this is a plug. So, you know, dear companies, if you're struggling, what you need to do is you grab your teams, you fly them to Spain, you go to the mountains, you buy a few cases of cava. And by the time you come back to wherever you left, you'll be sorted out. And within months, you'll double revenue. And you heard it here first at IOT Coffee Talk. But this is like the coffee side. You, you, cannot, you cannot explain that publicly. <laughs> this is the secret sauce. That's right. Yeah. The countryside. No, yeah, but it's... it's honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be um, uh, very uh, rowly uh, honest. I, I, when, when I sit down with my other two colleagues... I told them, hey guys, if we don't find out what, why in 10 years or in nine years we didn't make it, if we don't find a, a, a realistic reason, I stepped out. I had enough. I truly had enough. You know, honestly, I was a super successful uh, executive in Panasonic in, at the European level. And, you know, I was growing and my career was amazing. I was there for 14 years. And when I, was, when, when I was in the, in the, in the moment to even go farther and, and to have a, 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 a super position, I, I stepped out to build my own company. So when you are so successful for so long, it's hard for you to understand, hey, what, what did I make wrong during the last nine years or that this business is not taking off? Oh my God, what's fucking going wrong here? So then honestly, I told them, hey guys, if we don't find out the reason, maybe the reason is me. <laughs> I rather prefer to step out that somebody else comes and try it. But thanks God we found out the reason. Yeah, great story. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, awesome. it's the best story. Yeah, and then nice. and then then the most difficult part, and I'm, I'm finishing with that, is going back to the shareholders and explaining them the story. Yeah. Because yeah. of yeah, because they, they invested, they, they, they invested in one company. And I was very, very nasty with them. I told them, guys. I come here to let you know one thing. The company you invested on, it's over. But I have a plan. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. Nice. I love and then I, I explained them the story and they said, okay, let's try it. You know, uh, why, why hasn't Netflix picked up like, you know, IOT founder stories yet? Because this should be episode number one. I am only half. Uh, you know what? They should freaking pick up IOT Coffee Talk. What are you talking yeah. about, man? I mean, he, told, he just told the story. Seriously, where else are you going to get this kind of stuff? Anywhere. This is like straight up. Where are you going to get this kind, these, this kind of content anywhere on IOT? Come on. You guys freaking, you guys rock it. It's awesome. That is yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just that incredible. Is, yeah. I'm going to grab where hang out with Bill. We're going to find a mountain somewhere near Austin with margaritas. Yeah. And exactly. <laughs> and something magic. There you go. Happen. Find a friggin' mountain and yeah. alcoholic drinks, and then you will save your IoT company. <laughs> yes. 
I'm going to write the book about it. Just got to find a mountain. Yeah. The it. mountain and it. booze. All right. Hey, we got a jam. Um, hey, look at okay, this like world record seven, seven guys. Hey, to our IOT coffee talk, uh, Listeners, thanks for joining us. Uh, remember to smash that like button, that subscribe button. What you just hear, heard here today is you can only find here on IoT Coffee Talk. So uh, keep listening, learning, and then do big things like uh, my man, Jama, right over there. And we will see you next week. Guys, thanks so much. Super, super fun. This was like, this is the best. Thank you. Adios. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Bye.